Hey everybody, welcome to Tech of Tomorrow, where it's launch day of the new GTX 780 Ti. Is it the world's fastest single GPU card in the world? Let's find out. It is launch day of the new NVIDIA GeForce GTX 780 Ti. Now, you guys all know the 290X has been out. It beat the 780 pretty much across the board. It was kicking its butt. But what always happens when AMD kicks butt on NVIDIA? Well, NVIDIA gets their shit together and just comes out with something else. This time, it's the new 780 Ti. Now, most NVIDIA fans all know that this card is pretty much just a 780 with everything unlocked. Probably the card that we should have seen a long time ago, but since AMD fumbled so much in the game, NVIDIA just chilled out and was like, hey, why release this card when we don't have to? But as you can see, when the day arrived that AMD finally beat them at the table, they just really quickly released something else, which means they didn't have to do any R&D. They basically had this sitting on a shelf or they just had to like basically you know, just open something up in the card and ba-boom, they've unlocked it. So with that said, let's first First jump in and let's just take a look at the card physically. So I have the card right here in my hand. It's 10.5 inches long, you know, a real lady pleaser. They're still featuring their cooling on this, which you guys know from other series of card works very, very well. And a lot of people actually say that this is very appealing to the eye as well. So not only is the card efficient, people like the way it looks. And for a reference card, that's really rare. Now this thing looks really nice. PCI 3.0 interface. You got a couple of different things over here on the side for your power. Six pin, eight pin. Back of the card, completely black PCB. So you got up here on the top, two SLI fingers, triple SLI supported. Let's flip it around real quick. Take a look at the rear IO. Two DVIs, DVI-I, DVI-D, single display port, single HDMI port. Now let's talk about some of the actual specs of the car beyond the looks. So let's start off with the CUDA cores. Now, you guys have all heard, this is the unlocked version with 2,880 unlocked CUDA cores. Also features 240 texture units, 48 ROP units. Now, the reference card has a base clock speed of 875 megahertz and a boost clock of 928 megahertz. The memory clock speed is at 7,000 megahertz and is actually the fastest memory on any video card on the market to date. The card also features three gigabytes of super fast GDDR5 memory with a 384-bit memory interface. It also has a total memory bandwidth of 336 gigabytes per second. NVIDIA recommends a 600 watt power supply be used with this, and the total TDP of the card is 250 watts. It also has a thermal threshold of 95 Celsius. Now, we will get back and reiterate a little bit more about the subject of heat later on in the video, but I just want to say right now that when a card's running at that high of a temperature, there's not much flexibility to do with that. And when the card from AMD was run at Uber mode, it's pretty much kind of the same thing as having their card overclocked, but we'll get a little bit to that later. Let's right now talk about the test station. We're using the ASUS Maximus Hero motherboard. This is an LGA 1150 motherboard. We're also using the i7-4770K CPU. We're using a cooler master, a cooler on top of the dang thing, and we've got 32 gigabytes. That's right, 32 gigabytes of high speed memory from the people over at Patriot. This is their Viper Extreme stuff. We're also using a SanDisk 240 gigabytes SSD as the boot drive and a Western Digital one terabyte black drive, which we feel is a pretty common system for people to have out there. We used to have a higher end system, but we asked you folks what you thought, and you guys said this was pretty much the type of system that most of the high end enthusiast users would have, so we stuck with it. So, with that said, now let's bounce in and let's see how the performance is of this brand new 780 Ti from NVIDIA.
So there you guys see it. The performance differences between the 780Ti and the new AMD R9 290X. Now, something I do want to say right off the bat though, we ran the R9 290X in its Uber mode and we did that for a reason. We didn't feel that any gamer worth his salt was really gonna go out and spend $549 and then run that card in quiet mode. Why would you? You're a gamer. You want your games to run as fast as possible. Now, with that said, in Uber mode, the card does run pretty damn close, though, to the TI card. But there's something about that. The TI card, essentially, the way we ran it is pretty much walking because it's ran its default state, its default boost clock. We didn't go and change anything, nothing at all about it. Now, when you're running the AMD clock in Uber mode, it's pretty much that card in its overclock type state running down the road. So you can pretty much picture it, you know? Nvidia is walking, AMD is running, and they're running and they're still behind the TI. And I think that's a pretty fair assessment of the situation. Now, let's talk about the heat. 82 Celsius is what we were seeing on the Nvidia card. While we were seeing 94, 95, 96, all over the place with the AMD card, depending on the test we were running. So that card's already running very, very hot. Now I know a lot of AMD fans out there are gonna go say, hey, you know, there's gonna be better cooling, all this stuff. But one thing you can't change, regardless of the cooling you're putting on the card, that card's already running. You guys have said it yourself in your comments at 95C meant to be ran at 95C. So where's the actual threshold of that card? Like I talked about in the NVIDIA card, this has a threshold right around there, but the card's running at 82 right now. So that means I still have 13 degrees of Celsius that I can screw with before this card's running as hot as the AMD card. Every test that we ran right now was with the 780 Ti right out of its box, right with a virgin driver, nothing overclocked. Why Uber mode in the AMD is overclocked. It's like an overclock state, you know, Uber mode. There's a reason they call it Uber mode. It's not because it runs slow. So with that said, there are some positive things though to the AMD card. In one particular battle, there's nothing that Nvidia can do. I'm sorry, Nvidia, you just lose this battle altogether. And that's the price battle. $159, pretty big difference. Now you might be able to get it for, you know, a little bit less than that, you know, if you look around and shop, but pretty much $150 to $159 difference in the cost of the cards. So if somebody out there, you know, your sole thing out there is you don't care about performance, you're just looking for as much performance as you can get in this limited budget, well then if $150 is that big of a deal to you, then the AMD card is surely the card for you. But if you're a pure enthusiast and all you care about is performance, you don't give a crap who makes the card, which is pretty much how I am. You guys say that I'm a NVIDIA fanboy. It's not that, I compare the cards exactly how they are. When AMD has a really good product, we're like, hey, AMD had a great product. If they have a product that runs hot and it makes a little bit of noise, we're gonna make fun of it. We're not trying to insult AMD, we're just poking some fun at them. And when NVIDIA's done it, we've poked fun at them as well. So one last thing though, before we bounce out of here. Mantle, we've all heard about it. Is it going to seriously change the dynamic of the game? Well, we're going to see. But for now, the 780 Ti is the kick-ass king of the ring in the single GPU arena. The facts are there, there's no disputing it. Anyways, if you guys have different comments you wanna say down below, especially about how we ran the card, if you guys felt that we should have ran the card in quiet mode and you think that's a really important thing, let us know. We can always go back and run it again. We just didn't really think that any of you guys being uber gamers would run your card in quiet mode. So down there below the like button in the description if you guys want any more information, want to check out the written review, it will be down there. Hope you guys hit the like button and like that. And last but not least, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you want to see all the stuff that's going on here, we have all kinds of cool stuff coming up. We've got Christmas giveaways. We've got Christmas catalogs. Hey, the holiday season's upon us and that means great stuff for you guys. I'm Elric. We'll see you guys later. We're back to do some more testing on the 780 Ti and we're going to overclock this bad boy and well, we'll see where it goes from there. Peace.